Hello and welcome to the Horror of It All Movie Podcast, video edition. This time I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my Vinegar Syndrome January order. And it's right here. Another big one. I know I go a little crazy with Vinegar Syndrome, but if you've been watching me all along, you know that. <laughs> Definitely got some good stuff for this one. Uh, had a long day today because I waited for FedEx to deliver because I really wanted to get it. Plus, I unfortunately had a package taken the other day, which I'll go into a little bit more on my next video. This one is about vinegar syndrome. We got the PayPal. And a bunch of bags. No particular order. I got... This is almost like a sale order this time. <laughs> but, uh... Let me just adjust it right here. Sorry about that. Um, but, yeah. Because these are staff picks that I've been wanting to get. I got... Bloodlust from Mondo Macabro. I have the DVD. I really like this movie. 99 Women. Some Jess Franco and some more Jess Franco. Justine. I don't know if I can show the whole cover. So, all right. Let's get to the Vinegar Syndrome and the partner labels. We got Monster of Camp Sunshine which is a double feature with Honeymoon of Terror from Agfa and Something Weird. I know people were going back and forth with this one. I was too. I actually just added it on to my order the other day. But I got Killing Spree. Because I've heard some people with with the new Terror Vision label because they're they're a little bit up there considering some of the labels. I mean, 32 boxes is, you know, but I ended up going for it because I did have the previous Blu-ray, but I changed my mind because there's enough extra on it to make it worthwhile for me. All right. One of the big ones for me that I knew was coming beforehand fucking awesome dead heat i held off on any of the blu-rays for apparently a vinegar syndrome 4k this will be one of the first ones i watch all right i also got the unknown man of san i, I san jagora i'm terrible with some names as you know or may know another partner label. I think it's a new one. Deaf Crocodile. All right? Yep, number one. Okay. One of the infamous ones this month that have had I guess mixed. I don't know. I haven't heard a lot about it. I'm excited for it because maybe it's trash. Maybe it's good trash. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have fun with it though. Master of the World. Oh, got to watch that. Watch out for that butt. <laughs> Master of the world. All right. Got another partner label in here. Midnight Swim. This is number two from Yellow Veil. Say Veil, right? Yep. Yeah. This one sounds interesting. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Didn't know what this was. Got my Ninja Star pin from the New York Ninja. Fucking, fucking, it's kind of hard to spin it when you're holding it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Can I fucking spin it? Eh, it's pretty tight. I guess you don't really spin it, but I don't think you can really see that. But New York Ninja. Ninja Star pin. 
All right. Another bag. Ah, oh, this is a nice big one. We got Pals from Alter Innocence. Fucking weird slipcover, man. Um, this one was intriguing for me because it looked like a like an like an eighties coming of age movie, but it's also because it's directed by um, Eloy de la Iglesias. I probably said his name a little bit wrong. I apologize, but um, he did like Cannibal Man, and he also did some of those um, Spanish like set from Severin. Um, so I'm interested in that one being in like a comedy drama coming of age type thing. Next one from Fun City. And this is a more modern one. I was kind of surprised. Like, I mean, granted, it's it's 20 years old, but 20, it, it, theirs is usually like 70s, 80s. But this one should be interesting. Uh, Morvern Collar. Um. But yeah, this one definitely looks interesting. And it also has um, Samantha Morton stars in it. She's also Agfa, I think, Agfa, in uh, Walking Dead. I could be getting her, her name wrong. But. So this one should be interesting. A more, a more, little bit more modern. More like a modern classic-ish. Because I don't know if it's a classic. I don't know really anything about it but it's cool um the next one from saturn's core for all the people who like some found footage stuff i know some people don't like movies that uh, bad movies which i find funny if you're a fan of vinegar syndrome and you don't like so bad they're good movies i know some, i've heard some people say like it's not uh, i think they're in between like Either they're really good or they're just bad. I 100% disagree. I think they're across the board. There's there's good bad. There's bad bad. There's fun bad. Um, like, but it depends on the person, really. I mean, think about it. Like Devil Story. If you've been following my channel, you know how much I love fucking Devil Story. That is such a piece of garbage, but it's so much fun. Those are the kind of movies I like. I think that's a lot of the reason why I like some of Saturn's core movies. Um, not to say they're garbage or anything. They're just they're just fun little shot on video. This one is a question mark for me. Another new label. Um, I got the Ernie game. And it has Don Owen movies on it. Like shorts and stuff. It's like a collection. I believe. But yeah, this is... Oh, what was that? Canadian something maybe somebody can let me know in the comments I can't remember what it is because it doesn't actually say it on here that I can see on the spine it just says CIP I can't remember what that is off the top of my head brand new label alright kind of cool culture shock joined the vinegar syndrome partner labels um, I heard about them releasing girlfriend from hell which I haven't seen. It looks like a just silly 80s horror comedy horror, horror comedy, whatever. Um, that's very the very 80s other cover. Um, but yeah, I've actually ordered directly from Culture Shock and I'm I was digging their releases, so it's cool that they joined the ranks with Vinegar Syndrome. And that slipcase is so cool. Um, this is their number six. I may have everything. All right, and the other Vinegar Syndrome, which I am definitely excited for and intrigued by, but it's another blind. It's another blind buy. Curfew. But I'm the type of Vinegar Syndrome fan, if this is one of your first videos, if you're curious, that I blind buy a lot of stuff. I blind buy the most, I think, from Vinegar Syndrome themselves. Um, but I'm such a big fan of their stuff that I'd say it's less than 1% of the time that they let me down. Yeah, that much. I swear to God. 
All right. Last bag in here, I think. Oh, no, more paper. Ah, to add to my add to my collection. Yes. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> uh, Forgotten Jolly, Volume 4. I have absolutely loved and adored every box set of those so far. I'm sure this will be just the same. We got Arabella, Black Angel. The Sister of Ursula. The Killer is Still Among Us. And if it was labeled right, which unfortunately, I will say this, I hate to call it out, but sometimes when they first put up stuff, because there's so much, I understand there's going to be little mistakes in the in the descriptions. Uh, I don't necessarily have a problem with, um, with subtitles, but I have... I tend to watch movies that aren't subtitled beforehand, or at least that have a track, an English track. But a lot of these Forgotten Jollies have subtitles. It's just the nature of the beast, and if you like Jolly, well, it's worth it. All right, the new VSA, number 20. We are at 20! Fortress of America, -ca -ca -ca, um, which I have heard... Again, another blind buy for me. Uh, I have heard it has something to do with trauma. Um, film to be produced during trauma's golden age. Um, I assume it's kind of like their other stuff, which to some people might be like, I don't separate that trauma's trauma. I personally do. When I think of trauma, it's like um, class of Newcomb High, right? Yeah. Or Toxic Avenger, things like that. Like things from the tr some Tromaville. They have a lot of movies that are just produced by Troma and distributed by Troma or one or the other. This is one of those movies, by from what I understand. Those to me are just like side notes for Troma. They're not quote unquote Troma movies. They're just kind of there. Like they put the money into it or something, or they just bought it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, number 20. That's crazy. VSA 20. That's awesome. All right, and speaking of another um, side label, their uh, side label. I don't I don't know if that's the right thing, but anyway, um, number three. I'm digging the VSPs, man. Sorry about the glare with the mirror. That's interesting. Obviously, my favorite one so far is New York Ninja, but Sensor is fucking amazing in my opinion. I loved it so much. Um, so I definitely recommend it if, um, I guess if you're into Vinegar Syndrome stuff, it is a newer movie, but it was shot on film, obviously, that's how they can do it. And I assume this is just the same. This is the scare, what is it, the scary of six, of 61st, um, VSP number three. Um, but that's a more modern one also, so I assume it's also was shot on film. Two, this was, this, that was this year. Um, but yeah. So that is my haul, I believe. The only other thing I have is a vinyl. Um, this is something that was just uh, adding at the last minute. And I was surprised they still had them. I thought these were gone. I mean, I know you can get these from um, the label Ship to Shore, which it's been almost a year. I'm hoping, I, and I understand with vinyl, I understand. I'm not poking at it or anything. Hopefully I get House by the Cemetery soon, but um, I got the Deadly Games vinyl. Pretty cool. Um, I'm not a huge vinyl guy, but I do like scores. I do like to buy scores, and I do do have like old vinyl that uh, is more of like, um, I keep it because it's like, a nostalgia thing like it was my parents or whatever like I have like Alice Cooper vinyls and stuff like that but I don't really I'm a CD guy I'm a CD guy a disc guy uh, physical media all the way I barely even watch anything streaming I do if that's my only option but usually I just wait until it comes out or whatever but it's nice to have the option but anyway Deadly Games vinyl pretty cool 
Um, and if anybody's curious, I am the one. God forbid, I know some just collect it. I can't do that. That'd be like collecting a movie. And I, I guess some people do that too, just to collect it. No, I open everything. But with vinyl, I just slid it down the down here so the vinyl can come out and still the plastic. But anyway, that was my January unboxing for Vinegar Syndrome. It's definitely been a long day. Uh, I'll explain more again on my next unboxing for 7 January. Uh, which will be a little one, but I definitely want to make a video to talk a bit about it. Because um, I've went through some shit because of that. Not because of Severin. They've been they've been a, they've been amazing, actually. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm glad you tuned in. Uh, up next, not next, but for my other kinds of regular videos, um, or whatever I want to call it. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Uh, my top 10 favorite movies of what am I up to 1985 holy shit um, so after I, I'm halfway I'm gonna be halfway there uh, so uh, look for that soon as well as my January unboxing for Severin and who knows what else um, I could do another podcast I don't know it's kind of, I kind of wing this stuff I don't plan anything other than maybe like when I'm getting something I hold it off so I can um, do an unboxing but um Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if you would. That would be great. I, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out. Um, but yeah, I'm Eric. This has been the Horror of It All Movie Podcast, video edition. Until next time.